we'll hit our financial targets for the quarter. And I said, well, you know, the, what you need to do here is is figure out what the strategy is, what you're going to do that you're going to do it and take the risk that you have a strategy and then figure out how you can execute the strategy and make sure the OKRs are going to help you execute the strategy. If your strategy is wrong or if you can't execute it, you need to know where the problem is. And the link might well be that you've successfully achieved the goals, but it hasn't delivered the profits. Therefore, your strategy is wrong right? Or therefore your projections are wrong or whatever it is. Or it might be that you haven't actually been able to deliver this because you've got the wrong expectations, but at least we know what to do about this. And as managers, we're sort of trying to understand where do we change things? And if, he, if she just says, we need to hit all of these financial goals because that'll give us our output. All, all we're really doing here is delegating all of that strategy decision-making and all that prioritization work to a large number of people with different goals and hoping that they come up with a good answer. And that's abdication of management. Right, so um, uh, that was that was one thing that happens that happens there. I don't know. I feel like I've just gone on a tangent, by the way. <laughs> so I, I feel, but it just, it just seemed really relevant to, to to some of this because I think that um uh, that one of the things that we do about you know that's we're, we're talking about you can't predict things. Getting used to the fact that you can't predict it and that's reality and that's okay. You just need to be able to act in the best way you can given what's going on is really important. The second thing though. And so, so setting that up as a cycle, you know, Agile and Lean often have this sort of cycle of like you do a retrospective and you figure out well, what did I learn from this. And just setting up that learning cycle in the management um, structure is really, really helpful for that. But then the other thing is that when you're setting the OKR, you start doing some planning and you'd use this planning document. So I get these people, I get people doing the one page plan at the same time as they're setting their OKR. And that kind of means that we do have some understanding of what we can do. And by having it disciplined to be brief as opposed to a 16 page monstrosity it's like a three page brief thing we get just the basics we're not over analyzing things we're not sort of planning things out and micromanaging stuff we're just getting like here's the basic idea of what we're going to do and now that you've got some structure behind that having other people because different people in the management team will have different strengths and skills but having other people have a look at this when engineering leader looks at marketing's plan Number one, they learn about marketing, but number two, they'll have some different skills and different capabilities and different understandings and even different solutions and will be able to help that plan become better. And so you're collect, collect, getting this collective brain trust of the organization to improve the planning and improve the execution and make sure we're sort of all owning this. And then overall, we can hit the goals. We hope we can hit the goals. We have a better chance of doing so by putting that effort in and making sure those conversations are happening at that level.